actually about recruitment that's what I'm doing here I'm mm -hmm. dealing with mind powers as an agent uh, okay I can say like I'm recruiting different nationalities mm -hmm. I'm dealing with the Kenyans mm -hmm. Ugandans mm -hmm. Indonesia mm -hmm. Philippines mm -hmm. and Indians mm -hmm. And sometimes also I'm dealing with Ghanaians and Cameroon. It's like all Africans, uh. I'm dealing with them. So, hi. Hi. And welcome to Daring the Desert Show. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't mind, just introduce yourself the best way you know how. Uh, okay. My name's my name's uh, Sally Matenge. Uh, most of the people here in Bahrain they are calling me Boss Lady, and I love the name also. So that's my name. Okay. And in Facebook, I'm calling myself Sally Sintamat. Okay. All right. And in Instagram, Lady Boss. I have Twitter and Snap, so <laughs> you have a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot. Okay. So, where are you originally from, and uh, how long have you been in Bahrain? Uh, I'm from Kenya. I've been in Bahrain. I came in Bahrain in back in 2017, April. Sorry, April 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, whatever you're doing now in Bahrain is that the first job you did, or no, no, no. no. Actually, before I came in Bahrain, I was I was working in Lebanon. Okay. So it's a long story all about Lebanon, and I stayed there like maybe like for four years. Mm -hmm. Then I went back in Kenya after I came in Bahrain. In okay. the second country. Okay. So do you like? How do you feel about Bahrain mm -hmm. for the time that you've been here? If I can compare of my past, I wish we are not supposed to compare of our past, we are mm. supposed to be focusing. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Since I joined Bahrain, mm -hmm. I can't complain mm -hmm. about the job. Because once you are here, once you join any job or anything you are doing for your life, mm. if it has a, every work has advantages and disadvantages. But uh, about Bahrain, so far, so good. Okay. Yeah. You're dealing with recruitment of staff here in Bahrain. Yeah. So if you can just elaborate to us what you deal with so we understand. Um, actually, about recruitment, that's what I'm doing here. I'm mm -hmm. dealing with mind powers as an agent. Uh, okay, I can say like I'm recruiting different nationalities. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing with the Kenyans, mm -hmm. Ugandans, mm -hmm. Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Philippines uh -huh. and Indians uh -huh. and sometimes also I'm dealing with Ghanaians and Cameroon. It's like all Africans, uh -huh. I'm dealing with them and uh, the other now you know, who are not Africans are Indians, Philippines and Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. So what is the process of the recruitment? Okay, like uh, each and every nationality we go through the same contract. Mm. That's the way, because the contract of Bahrain, it's all the same. It mm. doesn't matter you're from which nationality, mm. but like like now, let's say, mostly I'm focusing on Africans, because mm -hmm. I'm in an office whereby we are like three staffs. Mm -hmm. So, the three staff, it means that there is, one of them is dealing with Philippines. Mm -hmm. Her work, her main job is to deal with the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The other one is dealing with Indonesia, mm -hmm. and myself in my office, I'm dealing with the all Africans, mm -hmm. that is Kenyan, Uganda, Cameroon, and Ghanaians, mm. and I'm also dealing with Indians and Ethiopians. Sorry, mm -hmm. Ethiopians okay. also. Yeah. So um, now, say somebody wants to come to Bahrain mm -hmm. and want to get recruitment. So where do you start from? Okay, for if uh, someone, let's say, you're back home, there someone is back, example, I'll use my country, okay. Kenya. Example, if you're in Kenya mm -hmm. and you're looking for a job, 
and maybe in the process you happen to get my direct contact mm -hmm. like you can contact me mostly because i'm in bahrain i'll send you back to my office back i think i give your number a lot yeah i think <laughs> i give out your number a lot clients and i appreciate so much <laughs> yeah. so what i'll do is like i will if i happen to get your number you happen to get my number and you contact me most likely i'll send you to my agent because i have people working oh you have agents in Kenya. okay yes. in different countries yes. that you Every work country, okay i have an agent okay so <clears throat> those one if you contact me it's either i'll ask you okay get i have first of all i have to get you what you what do you want to come what do you want to do maybe sometimes people will contact you and tell you no i'm looking for a job most likely I'll ask you what kind of a job you are looking for. Mm. So some are hotels, some are house managers, some are so different kind of jobs as you know here in Bahrain, mm -hmm. securities. And most likely I'll ask you to get, I'll give you my email, you'll send your CV, I'll view your CV, then I'll send you back to my agent back home. Mm -hmm. So, because mostly I don't like to deal with my staff direct. I have to go through it because there is a process in Kenya. That's a labor. Mm -hmm. We need to have a police later. That's a good conduct. Maybe there is a process. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they are coming to me. They don't have even passports. Yeah. Being that I'm in Bahrain, I cannot do your passport when I'm in Bahrain. So yeah. I have to refer you to someone. Mm -hmm. And once all your things are done, like you have a passport, you have a good conduct, you have the medical because most of them i will tell them who are, which hospital because in kenya to come in bahrain mm. let me talk of house managers mm. which is a big number i've brought here in i've brought in in bahrain mm -hmm. you have to go for gamka medical mm -hmm. gamka medical means like this medical it's approved by rmri mm -hmm. here in bahrain so okay. i have to send you to bayan hospital or mm. thai hospital mm -hmm. so the agent has to collect back home the agents have to collect all these documents mm -hmm. there is passport medical and good conduct mm -hmm. and your cv mm -hmm. then from there with times most remote if i'm mostly for the house managers i'll mm -hmm. ask the agent to do a short video for me mm -hmm. asking so i have to inform you before you come here mm -hmm. for example if you're coming here as a house manager mm -hmm. i have to let the agent to know tell her she's coming to this and this and this because mm. the contract we have in Bahrain, which most of the house managers they doesn't they don't know is mm. every before the house manager come in mm. we have some questions we do go through with the sponsor because mm -hmm. we have to know like how big is your house mm -hmm. you have kids or you don't have kids mm -hmm. you have pets Mm -hmm. Do you have a room for this house manager? Mm -hmm. you what you're supposed to give, what you're supposed to... Then I'll explain to the house manager. I'll mm -hmm. tell her, we are coming here, the family has seven people, six people. This is how big the house is. Are you okay with the kids? Are you okay with the job? If yes, I'll continue. If no, I'll do away with you. So. Mm -hmm. But it happens like most of the house managers you meet here in Bahrain and that's why we are having runaways in Bahrain mm. they were cheated mm -hmm. that because some of them they are coming in here they don't know what they are coming to do mm -hmm. maybe someone is leaving Kenya you're coming and then once you get here you just find out like you're coming to work in two three houses which yeah. is illegal in yeah. Bahrain yeah. in Bahrain what I like is that we have a contract which is 10 pages mm. In which is very strict it's a that it's a three parties contract mm. there is a first party mm. sponsor mm -hmm. second party office and that party the house mm. so and still there's another one we are the first party and mm. there's another one the house manager mm. is the first party but they don't know mm. so they have to sign we have to sign we have to submit all those things so this is how I go. It's a process to bring someone in here. I go through a process. I will do interviews, mostly for the securities. I have to do online secu uh, on online interviews. Interview. Yeah. I'll let you know how much is the salary. Most of them will ask you how much is it in Kenya sharing. Hmm. I have to do all those things. And that's why I'm focusing on the nationalities. I can explain also back home okay yeah and uh, what is the contract terms in terms of how long is the contract what is the um, specific time 
Uh, is it a standard time for yeah, house, yes. for domestic workers or oh. should I call them house managers? Yeah, it's okay. Domestic helpers. Yeah. This is what it's written in the contract. Mm -hmm. Domestic helpers. Uh, for the domestic helpers, the mm. contract is two years. That is a standard one? No, there is a one year also. Okay. But most like most of these employers or sponsors, as mm. we call them, that they are employers, mm. they will never go for a one year contract mm -hmm. because they will lose their money. Because if you go for a two year contract, mm -hmm. it's much cheaper than going for one year and then after one year you have to renew another one because the contract is two years so let me just take you back um you said that the employer who is we call here the sponsor will lose money yeah. so i think that is something that people do not understand who come here to work mm -hmm. because they say that they paid the agent back at home and then they come to Bahrain, they are working, and they want to bleach the contract. But the sponsor said, I used my money. So could you just explain how they use their money mm. when bringing in uh, stuff? What I can say, and uh, with a lot of evidence, because I can say I've brought more than a thousand plus mm -hmm. Kenyans here. And mm -hmm. most, most of them are maybe house managers. Mm -hmm. And I can say there is nothing like house managers are paid to come here. I doubt because as I speak now, mm -hmm. what we do is like back home what they are supposed to do only mm -hmm. is just to get a medical. And this medical, it's paid mm -hmm. here in Bahrain. You understand? Because mm -hmm. before I bring a house manager, mostly mm -hmm. I have different agents there back home. They will contact me. I have candidates. They need to travel outside so we will discuss i will discuss with the agent how much i will pay we pay so we pay the, so are we saying that the sponsor who is coming to employ this girl mm. is the one who will pay for their processing in kenya yes then they pay for their traveling yes and then until they get here let me tell you one something the sponsor comes in in an office, like, mm -hmm. we'll come to my office, we stand for the ticket, mm -hmm. we stand for the medical, mm -hmm. and uh, once they arrive, arriving here, all these, they're from airport to office, everything, we stand for that. Mm -hmm. This is the employer. Mm -hmm. So back home, the house manager is just so, supposed to present a passport. Okay. Only a passport to the agent. Yeah. Passport and herself. Mm-hmm. And... What they do, it's only maybe maybe you need your family to take you to the airport, of which we even cater for the transport. Because mm -hmm. we are paying the agents transport to drop them to the airport. Mm -hmm. And we are also paying the COVID right now, like right now, mm. every nationality except right now. We cannot hire Kenyans because the visas for the Africans, that's Kenyan, Cameroon, Ghanaian, it's closed. Okay. Has been. It's on. Still now, it's still closed. Meaning that it's like we've been banned. Like now, we are going two years. We cannot process our work for visa, house work managers. For even skilled for ladies. Ladies. Oh, ladies okay. Only. Mm -hmm. But for the guys, it's still. We are still doing. We're okay. Still doing it. Oh. oh, but now we are using visit visa. For the visit visa, I'll come later about it. Mm. But there's no house manager will pay. To come in Bahrain. This is why you are seeing the employers. They are so mad about mm -hmm. because sometimes you have to understand both parties. Because like me, if I have if there is a problem for my house manager, I am hundred percent sure. Let me say ninety nine percent. There's no house manager can come and stand in my office and tell me, Sally, you know what? I paid to come in Bahrain. That's mm -hmm. a lie. Mm -hmm. Because if I ask them, most of them, they will tell me, you know, I paid to come here. I will tell them to provide an evidence. Mm -hmm. And if you paid, I have a right to pay that house manager. Mm -hmm. Reason, once she arrives in Bahrain, mm -hmm. I've not yet paid the agent. Because yeah. we pay upon arrival. Mm -hmm. So if a house manager come in in Bahrain and tell me, guess what, I paid to come here. Because mm -hmm. the first interview, once they arrive before the employer comes to pick them, to go with them to their houses, because mm -hmm. we don't allow employers 
require us to pick house managers from the airport. Mm -hmm. Office is responsible because I need to see this house manager if mm -hmm. she is fit. Mm -hmm. I need also to talk to her. Mm -hmm. I need to ask her a question like, do you know why you are in Bahrain? Mm -hmm. Like I need to get some information from you. Do you know people here? Do you know anything about mm -hmm. this country? Maybe the CV, the agent, sometimes it happens. The agent will send me a CV showing like this girl, she have worked in another country more than she knows cooking, create everything, but mm. unfortunately once she arrives here, she's she, the first time, she, she, she knows, knows nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. So this is the reason why I have to bring them in the office. I have to have an interview with them. We mm -hmm. have to talk. We have to know each other. They have to know this is the office. I have to give them my business card. Mm. I have to give my office. We are providing a training manual book. Mm -hmm. This the manual book is like it's a book with all the work you're supposed to do in mm. the house yeah. and all whatever the sponsor employer is supposed to provide for mm. you mm. about your contract about the salary, mm -hmm. which date you're supposed to receive your salary. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to work on it in one house, not two houses. These are the things I have to explain to them. So I must have an interview with the house managers before mm -hmm. the employer comes. So once, once the employer comes, pick up this girl, mm. and then goes to take them to the house. Mm. And then she finds out that she's supposed to, she's working now for two or three houses. Mm. Are they able to get to you? Because yes. sometimes some ladies will say that uh, immediately they arrived, their phones were taken away or something like that. Or how do you follow up that the, that the lady has settled in? Okay, what I do is like once you as an employee, example, you as an employee, I know my house manager is arriving at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm. You as an employer, I will ask you to come in the afternoon to pick your house manager. Mm -hmm. So what I will do is like once you come in as a house manager, uh, as an employer, mm. I have to sit also to sit with you mm -hmm. and the house manager in front of us. So I will go through the contract telling you what you're supposed to do. Mm. This is for the house manager and you, you are the employer. I will tell you, madam. You know what? This is the what you're supposed to provide, and we will mm. give also another manual to the sponsor, mm -hmm. and the house manager will have her training book. In mm. the training book, it's written. Then, in front of the employer, mm. I usually give the business card. I'm mm. not hiding. I'll tell her this: there is, if there will be a problem mm -hmm. between you and your employer. Mm -hmm. Talk to madam, approach the madam because I'm trying to tell the house manager not to be in contact with the boss, mm. the sir. Mm. Mostly I usually tell them try to talk to madam. Mm. Talk to her, tell her this and this is happening mm. first time. Tell her again she didn't change or she is not ready to change. Mm. Then from the that time you have to tell her, please madam, I need to call the office. You will call me or you will text me if you are if example you say the phone some mm. of them they are taking their phones mm. okay, if it happens what I usually tell them if there is a big problem and you see there is a problem you need to stop to work because one thing you are still under guarantee even after guarantee still you mm. are still under us mm -hmm. so I will tell her if you see the problem is a major problem don't make troubles mm -hmm. don't bring attitudes don't fight with the employer mm -hmm. just leave the job mm -hmm. because if you stop to work and you sit in your room mm -hmm. then there is no employer in Bahrain who keep a house manager <laughs> sitting eating and sleeping it's mm -hmm. impossible mm -hmm. so what I would tell them is like, if you see she is not ready to call the office, she's not ready to let you go to the office, just sit in your room. Mm -hmm. Don't think of running away because after run, you run away, it's for you. Are, mm -hmm. You will face problems. Yeah. But if it's your right, I'll fight for your right. Mm -hmm. And so most of the employers, you will find out they will return, they will return back and they will ask of back to be paid back their money or to be repre to replace that housemate. Mm -hmm. And this house manager, she will just come back in the office. She will explain herself. And most like I usually ask them in front of the employer once you are returned back, mm. are you ready to work in another house or you don't want to you want to go back home? Mm -hmm. Or what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Because some of them they will be six months and they are returned back in the office and they'll be like, I'm tired, I'm fed up. You cannot just tell me you are fed up in one house. Yeah. No, at least go to two, 
two houses, three house. That's maximum. I don't take a house. My I don't like to keep on t exchanging, changing. It's better you try her two to three houses. If she fails, it's better. I always ask, are you ready to continue? You are ready to continue or you want to go back home? Because if she says she wants to go back home, it's we provide a ticket and we send her back. Mm -hmm. Because you're still under three months, mostly under three months. But after three, five, six months, maybe she will tell you, I don't want to work as a house manager again. So we will start a process. I will tell you, you will have 30 days. You mm -hmm. either get another job. And if you don't get another job, you have to go back home and you have to pay your ticket. Because mm -hmm. you have refused to work. So, so you only have... You can only get them a ticket to go back home as an office only within three months when they get yes, to Bahrain. Yes. After three months, they we, we cannot. If they dis, but anyway, I know that if they want to go back home to visit, come back, the the, the employer will pay for that. Yes, so as long as I don't think most of the, most of them, as you know, yeah, there is a contract. You understand? Mm -hmm. This contract is two years. You cannot just wake up and say, no, I feel like I want to go and visit my parents. Yeah, of course not. not. Allow. But okay. they, go, they get a, a, a ticket after their two-year contract. And also there is also indemnity. And they there's indemnity. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So say somebody has finished the, three, the two years mm. and they, also, they want now, they decide, I don't want to work in, as a housemaid again. Mm. I want to go out and look for another job. Okay. So what is the process? The process for this is like, let's say you have finished your two years contract. Mm -hmm. It's meaning that you have done your job. Mm -hmm. So what I love and I like with this country, they, I'm not trying to say Bahrain they are so so good, and all Kenyans they are so so good. Mm -hmm. Everyone, human is to Ella, mm -hmm. but I cannot say they are bad. They are good as mm -hmm. compared with other Gulf countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we are sharing ideas with agents from, like I have uh, friends agents from Saudi, because mm -hmm. they are trying to do business with me. Dubai, mm -hmm. I'm still sending people in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So. What I will do is like, if two years I'll ask you, most of them they will call me, they will tell me, okay, Sally, I've, I'm almost to finish my contract and I don't feel like going, continuing with this house. Mm -hmm. Most, some of them, they don't want even to go outside. Mm -hmm. Most, some majority mm -hmm. I know, like, I think uh, during COVID, I had a lot of girls coming mm -hmm. back after two years, but they were not even ready uh, to go outside. Mm -hmm. So, some of them, what they will do is like, they will tell me in advance, next month I'm free, because I'm not an angel to know all the girls in the office. Yeah, they of have course. They tell me in advance. Yeah. So, I'm finishing my contract and this and this, please talk to my employer because I see like maybe they don't want me to go or maybe they want to send me back because most of them, they will be threatened. Mm. I'm sending you back. You will not stay in that rain. So, mm. what I'll do, I'll talk to the employer. Mm -hmm. I will ask, I will inform the employer, mm -hmm. please, can I read this lady, she need us, because she's finishing contract next month, mm -hmm. and as per the law, after two years, it's either you send her back. Mm -hmm. So, what we will agree, maybe there's most of the employers, they will be like, no, she's going back home, mm -hmm. we are done, Sally, I'm done with the office, I'm done with her, she has to go back home, no. Mm -hmm. Sally, send, there is an indemnity, you need mm -hmm. to pay her. And you have to pay ticket to go back to home. Oh, sir, do you want to choose? Pay her indemnity and don't pay the ticket. Yeah. She is not going anywhere. She will stay in Bahrain. Yeah. So you will not lose your money for the ticket. Yeah. Most of them, they will choose that. Yeah. So they will say, like, just inform her. I will, leave, I will let her, I will bring her back to the office because I have to receive the passport, mm -hmm. receive the cancellation. Mm -hmm. That is no objection letter, cancellation, and receiving letter, mm. meaning that I've received this, uh, this house manager. Mm. And in the, in the receiving letter, I'm the one who do it, mm. I'll mention there like she wants to go and search another job, mm. and you have 30 days. So she has to sign. Mm -hmm. I, office has to sign and spawn employer. Mm. So in case you, she goes out and she doesn't find a job, or she goes for another business, and 30 days are done, 
we have a right to report to the police mm -hmm. because I don't know where she went. So, okay. The doesn't know where she went and the passport will be with us. We will mm -hmm. not give it until most likely we are leaving, we stay with the passport just for her own security. If mm -hmm. If she insists of the passport, you can also give. Yeah, for some yeah. of them, they will, it's her document. Yeah, it's her. Yeah. You don't need to keep any one document. But yeah. for most of them, they will tell you, just stay with my passport because just maybe I'll lose it. Maybe I'll, And also to get a job here, mm -hmm. you don't need a regional passport. Mm -hmm. You need a scanned copy and mm -hmm. this, and you can present your CV. Mm -hmm. And then you let someone to know, I have received. Most of the people looking for jobs also here mm -hmm. locally, I always ask them, come with your, do you have all your documents? Mm. Because sometimes you might find they are runaways. Mm. You get someone a job, when you are almost to transfer the visa, you can do it. Mm. You find out it's a runaway, and mm. this one can cost me up to 1,000 BD in our office if we hire a runaway. Mm. So we will give the papers, and the employer will just release the register. Mm -hmm. So when you come back, we want to know about uh, how long, what is the preferable age that is preferred. So welcome back. And also wel help us to welcome <laughs> Chui, who has yeah. become part of our set. Yeah, yeah he, he says he, still, he also wants to be on the show. So now uh, we are back and I want to know mm -hmm. what is the preferred age for the um, domestic house workers? Uh, for the domestic workers, uh, you mean now okay the house managers mm -hmm. the age starts from 22 mm -hmm. which is very young yeah. 22 to 39 40 like now we are closing at 40 40 okay yes. okay so those who want to apply for these jobs they have for to be house yeah they have to be average at that age mm -hmm. so um so what is uh, somebody if they want to get to reach you uh what is your contact so that um, my numbers, uh, I have, uh, I think I'll share both numbers because uh, most of the people, they have the numbers, so they've been sharing. So, 36, this is 36368464. That was on one of my business number. And the other one is 39111063. Okay, and your Facebook page? Sally Sintamat. Okay, so we will put that on the in the description as well and on the video as well so that you can reach to her. Now, the other thing I would like to talk about is your side hustle. I've heard a lot that you have a side hustle. Yeah, as you know, like, uh, I came to realize myself, like, when I came here in, you know, everyone in the whole world no one knew that there would be something like covid mm -hmm. so i'm a hustler i'm a hustler i've been uh, i have a bland like i have uh, hoodies these things i'm not doing here only i'm also doing back in kenya mm -hmm. and in dubai and sometimes i'm sending also in Qatar because i have people there who are doing it for me so i have a brand I started like it's a boss lady you will see I have hoodies with my logo I like just like boss lady if you any color you want we will print it we will print it for you and um, also having all the Africans stuff mm -hmm. that's the wrappers beach wears, hair like uh, buns sun straps those things I have all African things yes okay. I do sell them so we will as well have them here mm. so they can have a look so thank you so much for taking your time mm -hmm. and joining us yeah. and thank you so much as well the viewers for thank being in too. touch with us and for as well tuning in to our show okay. this is the daring the desert show and we ask you to subscribe for more and as well as join us and share so that people can uh, get sure, know us sure, sure. as well as write to us so that we know what is the other topics that you want to us to discuss about. Sure. My email is leyan.leyan. I'm writing down there, leyan.leyan at gmail.com and let me know what you want us to discuss about. Mm. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you too. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for hosting me. And, and uh, thank you, Chewy, for sleeping. <laughs>